GM2 gangliosidosis, or GM2 for short, is a rare fatal genetic disorder that progressively damages nerve cells primarily in the brain and spinal cord. There are two main types of GM2. Tay-Sachs disease, which is caused by a mutation or change to the hex A gene, and Sandhoff disease, which is caused by a mutation to the hex B gene. Although they are different genes, they both instruct the cells to produce parts of an important enzyme called hexosaminidase or HEX-A enzyme for short. This enzyme helps break down molecules called GM2 gangliosides in the lysosomes within cells. Often referred to as the recycling center of our cells, lysosomes break down and remove waste, allowing cells to function properly. The faulty genes result in not enough of the HEX-A enzyme, leading to a harmful buildup of GM2 ganglioside, which is toxic to cells. Symptoms of GM2 typically occur during infancy, but can also occur in early childhood, adolescence, or even adulthood. These symptoms progress quickly and can include a loss of developmental skills, impaired brain function, seizures, difficulty breathing, and lead to severe disability and shorter life expectancy. Gene therapy is being researched as a potential treatment for both Tay-Sachs and Sandhoff diseases. Gene therapy aims to be a one-time treatment that could slow or stop disease progression by delivering working HEX-A and HEX-B genes into the cells. Scientists know that viruses are good at getting into cells, so they have learned how to safely use this ability to get into cells as a vector or carrier to deliver the working gene. But don't worry, the viral genes are removed so only therapeutic genes are delivered. This can be done using an in vivo approach, which means the treatment is delivered directly to the brain or spinal cord. Here to explain more is Dr. Terence Flott. The viral vectors carrying the working hex A and hex B genes are delivered at the same time through a single injection. Once delivered, the working genes instruct the cells to make the lacking hex A enzyme to restore function in lysosomes and remove harmful buildup. Gene therapies for GM2 are being investigated in clinical trials, which is a required part of the research process to determine if they are safe and effective. Being able to participate in a trial depends on strict criteria, such as the person's age and health history. For more resources about gene therapy for GM2, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.